What's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I want to talk about a couple of things. First, happy March. Today's March 1st. We are already starting the third month of 2023. Hard to believe. Time moving very quickly once again. Also in this video, I'm going to take you guys to Kentucky. We're going to Lewisburg, Kentucky, and you're going to see some strange features out in a, in a pasture. A, a young lady noticed that had never been there before. They just kind of appeared overnight in her pasture in Kentucky. But what I want to talk about first is this UAP UFO situation that's been talked about a lot in the news here recently. This is an article over here at Politico.com dated just yesterday, February 28th. And that's what they're talking about, the the, the recent increase in, in sightings, not only by, by people on the ground, but by pilots. And this is an image a pilot took, saw something up in the sky that he couldn't identify. And, and pilots fly all the time so they're going to be prone to see things up in the sky that maybe we wouldn't see on the ground and when they see something unusual considering that's what they do they fly in airplanes and and they may see things off and on from time to time when they see something they can't identify you know it's probably something pretty strange and this one here was kind of holding its position up here at about 30 35,000 feet and it's very windy up there so that would be difficult to do at best because of the strong winds and this story goes on to talk about a, an incident that occurred last year over West Virginia it talks about a lot of information regarding the UAP UFO phenomena and I'll share with you what they speak of regarding last May the FAA issued an alert after a passenger aircraft flying over West Virginia experienced a rare failure of two major systems while passing underneath what appeared to be a UAP. One thing we do know is these craft aren't part of some classified U.S. project. We were quite confident that was not the explanation, Scott Bray said of the, the Naval Intelligence as he was uh, before Congress talking about this this incident and, and other ones too, you know, like, like this one here. This was something that was spotted by a pilot, I believe, off of the East Coast. So what I've decided to do, since this is a hot topic, they've been talking about UAPs and UFOs in the news for, for the last several weeks, and I have several videos right here in this folder that I haven't even had a chance to edit yet because they're, they're coming in on a daily basis. I'm getting multiple videos from multiple people at various locations around the world that are seeing unidentifiable objects in the day and nighttime sky. I'm not asking for this stuff, guys. You guys are, are wide awake. You're on the ball. You're alert. You're noticing things in your surroundings. And you are seeing things in the sky that are indeed mysterious. This entire folder is full of video footage of rare things in not only the day but nighttime sky. So I think it's only fair that you guys shared it with me, and I do greatly appreciate it more than you know, that I get to these videos and share them with all of you guys and let you guys form your own conclusions. But all of these you see right here, I have to edit first. So here recently, much like the, the news has been talking about lately, I too have seen a very large increase in sightings of various things in the sky that people don't necessarily know what they're looking at. They're looking at something that they know probably shouldn't be there, at least from what we've known over the years with regard to things that fly in our skies, like airplanes and helicopters, and occasionally you might see a, a random balloon here or there. I know drones have been a new thing here recently, and, and we could be seeing some drones from time to time but not always, like this pilot here. He would know what a drone looked like and how a drone behaved, and he said that was not a drone. It was something that he had never seen before. Remember the video I did uh, about a week or so ago regarding San Antonio? I, I referred to it as the San Antonio lights, referring to the Phoenix lights from 1997, because they did look like the Phoenix lights from 1997. Well, here's a sneak peek at a still image from another video of the same lights that were spotted by Hank above San Antonio, or at least in the San Antonio area. This is a video, this is a still image from a video 48 miles to the northwest of San Antonio on the same exact night that Hank saw these lights. These are 48 miles to the northwest above Center Point, Texas. And as you can see, compared to what they looked like in San Antonio, they were more level in a straight line. As they reached Center Point, Texas, they were on an incline going up. 
it's an incredible video that again i might share today or we may do it tomorrow but that's going to be the theme for the month of march so i wanted to share that with you guys in case you were wondering why there's going to be a lot of uh UAP video footage this month. I, I want to try to get through all of this. And if I get through it all in a couple of weeks, you know, it takes a lot of time to, to edit this properly for video presentation. So if we can get through it in a couple of weeks, that's great. Um, it may take the whole month because I have another entire folder. I have all kinds of ISS footage to share with you guys. So a lot of neat stuff. And I think you guys are are really going to enjoy that so so stick around we're going to do that the entire month of march or at least until we get through all of the the footage i want to take you guys now to lewisburg kentucky something strange appeared in a lady's pasture in lewisburg which is right here and here we go we're going to a pasture in lewisburg kentucky and this is christine she says i don't know what this is she sees these pastures every day she's lived here for a long long time and she's never seen anything like what she's sharing with us in this video footage this big ring right here she's filming this ring she's calling it an indentation but it's a it's a circle she has no idea how it got there and there's three different video clips there's two of these circles that appeared in her uh, pasture basically overnight uh-huh pretty cool she says they've never had any equipment here she doesn't know what made it i mean it's quite obvious if that were there yesterday or the day before um, she would have noticed it just like she noticed it today but there's one here and then there's another one over here to the left and remember when the 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 cows or something were walking in a circle they probably formed an indentation in the ground i'm just wondering if something like that occurred if maybe cows were walking in a circle for for unknown reasons and they just didn't happen to see it or if something else made it i don't know i don't have any idea and she's calling it a circle and this is a different one this is one as she enters the pasture right here and then there was another one over here a little farther away so there's two of these weird indentations that appeared uh, in a pasture in lewisburg kentucky uh, mysterious origins she has no idea how they got there and these videos are fairly recent just within the last i don't know four maybe five weeks tops out of lewisburg kentucky thank you christine great observation so so once again guys um we're gonna spend the entire month of march trying to get through these dozens of videos of various things in the in the skies above planet earth from locations all around the world coming over here to the home page of the website today's feature photo was sent in by ken garton out of trenton florida i've also got a video that i want to share with you guys from ken this is of the the obviously crescent moon and that is jupiter they were close together in the western sky here not too long ago and Ken who's an excellent photographer of the nighttime sky he sends me some really cool videos he's got some good cameras that that pick up things in the sky um, and he's in a very busy location here in Trenton in the Florida Panhandle and Ken not only sent in this photo here but he also shared some video footage right here from February weird flashes in the sky he sends in video footage from his outdoor cameras these are three different videos from three different nights and the originals the the objects that you're about to see show up very very quickly I mean if you blink you would miss it but his cameras are that good and he's got a very busy sky here in the Florida Panhandle he's always catching things on his outdoor cameras but I'm gonna show you the three videos that he shared with me in the original speed and I'm gonna slow them down so you can actually see what's occurring here in the sky uh, this first video is from as you can see over here february the 20th 2023 at 2011 that would be 8 11 p.m here we go that's on the night of the 20th same location trenton florida night of the 23rd just before eight o'clock and the night of the 25th right around eight o'clock i know they were hard to see but i'm going to put these in super slow motion in the same order the night of the 20th watch over here just a brief very bright flash doesn't look like a meteor meteors don't normally behave like that here's another very rapid bright flash right there see it 
And here's the third video in slow motion from the night of the 25th. Watch at the bottom of the screen right there. You can see a rapid flash, and then it disappeared as quickly as it appeared. And all of these events were around the 8 o'clock time frame, spanning over the course of five nights. Some sort of a mysterious bright flashes in the nighttime sky detected by Ken above the Florida Panhandle. Thanks for the videos, Ken, and thanks for the, the cool photo. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you have any videos you'd like to share that won't attach to the email for whatever reason, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, Have a Large Video. Click on that red tab, drag and drop your video into the red banner. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.